forward to this week to you know work on some stuff, get some good practice. Yeah. That. How's it been? Good. You know, guys have worked hard. We've gone we've gone twice uh, Wednesday, twice Thursday. Um, we're able to get two a days. We go once a day. Um, be able to work on some things that we needed to work on to to, to get better and to improve on and. Um, you know, we needed ready to get back on the floor on Sunday to play a game. You know, obviously Saturday's game for St. John's that was a that was a tough one. Um, sort of like the the difference was uh, our guy played really well in the pre-draft camp, and their guy didn't play as well. One went, one came back, one didn't stay in the draft. That was the big difference. Josh Kogan and Shamari Bonds, but uh, um, you know, but we'll we'll bounce back and. Um, you know, I, I really like our team. I like our group. We got really good guys, and we just got to keep working to get better. You know, look, I'm. You guys know I'm. You know, we got to win some of these road games. Obviously, I mean, we got to. We got that's our next step of our program. We got to win some of these road games. So, but in the short term here, we got to take care of the home games. We got to play Sunday versus FAMU, and you know they're well coached, and uh, they got a couple guys that can really play. They run good stuff, play hard, they compete. Um, they're physical, they're hard-nosed, so we'll have to play at a high level and have a chance to win. In terms of the scoring droughts, is it a situation you got to call more set plays or have something in particular that you feel like will you know, we, we, draw a foul yeah, or whatever? We, we scored 73, so it was, I, you know, you think 73 is you know, enough, but um, yes, uh, a few things. One is... Um, you know, obviously we've had some time now to, to make some adjustments because now that we know that we have James and we've gone the entire spring and summer and fall not planning on James, leading up to four hours before the Tennessee game, not knowing we had James Banks to play. So that we have now can maybe adjust a little bit with that. Um, you know, uh, we've, I've said this, and I said this to Ken after the game, I just thought I would, we would be a better shooting team to this point. We've shot really well at home for the most part. We haven't been as good on the road. And I, I still believe in our shooting. And, you know, we need to be a better three-point shooting team. Um, a technical foul by Jose really hurt us. Really hurt us. And it was the same thing like last year. That was his fourth foul, and it was unnecessary for him to do that. But I take him out. It was very similar to last year with Josh Okogie in the Clemson game. Out in Clemson, we were up. He had his fourth foul. I took him out. And this, you know, try to. I said to myself, like, get to the five-minute mark for up seven or eight, and, and I, I had to put him back in. We were up like seven, but the momentum had just swung. And the same thing with Jose. I took him out for a couple minutes, and it came. The momentum had just swung. And um, but 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 that was a big play by Jose getting that tech. And I've talked to him about it. You know, the best reaction a lot of times is no reaction, and um, and he had reacted unfortunately, but. Uh, um, you know, regarding the scoring, Kelly, we got to just we got There's a couple of droughts. I mean, look, we're number one in the ACC in field goal percentage defense. We're number one in the ACC in three point percentage defense, and one of the best in the country defensively. We, we we've got to be able to score the ball in those droughts. Two things: we got to get some stops, and they were scoring us. We had to be able to dig down and get some stops. But we went. Some, we had a couple of scoreless droughts that just same thing with North, reverse Northwestern. They just bite you in the rear. So we got to figure that out. Do you want to get into your offense sooner in the shot clock than you have been, or? Um, 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 no, I mean I would like. I mean yes and no. I, we. I mean it's a hard thing because we're, we met, like Northwestern in the first half. We missed so many layups. I mean we just missed so many layups, and so if the shot is more about the shot selection. If the shot is good, then I want us to take the shot whenever it is on the shot. On the, on the shot clock. If it's a bad shot, we just gotta, we gotta work till we get a good shot. And we've taken some threes that are contested. Like some of our guys, maybe it was the NBA line with the Heat Arena. But we were shooting some NBA threes for no reason. So we, we've gotta take better threes, making sure when our feet are set, and we gotta play inside out with our threes, getting into the paint, paint touches kicking out to get our threes to get better looks from there. Is that your main conclusion about three-point shooting, or do you feel like you need to take less for the time being? Or? No, well, I, um, I think my conclusion is that, that we got to take better threes. Um, some of our threes aren't good shots. They're contested. Right? And our threes need to come from inside out. But if guys are open, we're going to have to let, them, let it fly. But, but Ken, they got to come from, you know, penetration, paint touches, whether it's a dribble pass, you know, whatever it may be, into the paint, suck the defense and kick out. 
and that's where we're going to have to get our that's when we're at our best from a three point shooting. But we shot some threes that were not that were ill advised, contested threes, and in, in from NBA range that's that was not necessary. Right. Do you have any numbers about that, like what you shoot when the ball is kicked out versus swung around or yeah. spot up? Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I can give you an exact. I don't have it right in front of me, but we our percentages. Um, we're we're, sh we're we're shooting um, we're shooting at a very low clip on contested twos mm -hmm. from two point range from contested twos like long twos we have a very low percentage and we have a very low percentage when the ball has not hit the paint on threes so um, like you know we're we're just, and, and you know what we've sh we, we we've got to shoot better on the road like we do at home. We're just a better shooting team at home than we are on the road, and that's got to be able to transcend on both, regardless of the avenue that you're, the venue that you're playing at, because the basket's 10 feet. How much of you do you change things with James in terms of the offense? And try, I know it's hard when you're already... we got to play through him. Maybe, maybe we got to play through him now. we got to play through him. Maybe not play through him like we did with Ben, everything at the high post, but play through him in some different avenues, you know, to play through him. And try to draw the double on yeah try again more avenues to get ourselves inside out to be able to kick out for threes you know we're maybe not being as such guard oriented as maybe i initially thought and not knowing that james is going to be eligible he looks like he's developing offensively he's got a little vision and he hit that jump hook against yeah St. John. He, he's getting a little better um you know he could have he, the other thing is he's got to be able to be in better shape he's got to be able to play longer stretches mm -hmm. right now he's really good in spurts um, you know, but I mean, he's right there for leading the league in rebounding. I think you know, for leading years nine and a half, he's at nine. Um, you know, he's one of the better shot blockers. So, you know, we, we need to play through James, maybe differently than we play through Ben, but we need to play through James to be able to to capitalize on on his play right now. And I imagine the defensive side it changes. Yeah, completely what your plan was because your plan was not to have rim protection. No, it's not at all. It. So that's changed a little bit, but you know. Like I said, the the one consistent that we've been here in the three years, I guess you could say we haven't been a good shooting team, but uh, <laughs> which is not a good consistent. But uh, I do believe in our shooting this year. I really do. But the one consistent we've been is we've been a pretty good defensive. I mean, we were an elite defensive team my first year. We were solid. We were good for the most part. Um, uh, we were we were good for the most part last year, but this year, you know, we're, we're really good again at this point through seven games of the season. Uh, based on our numbers. So we just got to hold true to that. We've got to hold true. We've got to hold true to getting seven stops, seven three stops in a row during the game. That is just, that is our whole deal. It's our whole deal. We do that and just our percentages of chances to win just increases, you know, fast. Going back to, to James, does going the offense going through him, does he also need to improve his passing and his ball handling? You know, the one thing with James is that being at the elbow, he's maybe not as effective like a Ben Lammers, or maybe not even as AD or Sylvester be able to make the, the backdoor passes, but he's, he can do some things at the block. He's got to be a better handler. A lot of it's his base. He's got to have a stronger base. He's got to be more in a base. Sometimes he gets himself narrow. So it's just, again, it's, it's game experience. You know, he needs to continue to gain experience as well, too. With the three-point shooting, do you have to be more like on them about you know their their selection? And, yes, you know. and, 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 and and constant film yeah. to show them good shot, bad shot. And I've told our guys, if you're open, your feeder set, shoot it. If you miss ten, shoot the next ten. Like you have the green light to shoot every shot when you're open. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot. It. First size doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. But if you are guarded, you have to turn that shot down. And, and that's what happened versus St. John's. We took some ill-advised threes, long threes, contested threes. Mm -hmm. Like Jose took some bad shots in, in late clock time when he didn't need to. Right. Um, we were in the bonus, as you mentioned. We were not, we should have been driving it. Um, you know, so that's, those are the things of just them fully realizing it and, and understanding that to, to you know, for us to have better, you know, be better offensively.